Hello, my name is Tom Stiles and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 87. I think it's 87 because the last one was 86. Oh, anyway, as you can see from the background, I, my wife let me back in the house out of the garage. So, I'm back to my uh, computer room and um, I wanted to get back to the reviews of scanner radio apps for Android device devices, specifically in my case for my um, Acer tablet, Android tablet, A500. So I've done, a, I think I picked out eight about a month or two ago, or last year sometime, and I got through two, so I want to go to the third one. There's a total of eight. Um, I may not do them all because some of them are not that good after I've kind of looked at them. And I might just, you know, I was saving my, the one I like the most for my Android tablet to up for last. But at the rate I'm doing this, that could be like next year. So I may skip a few of them or just briefly identify the other ones. And as one person said, why are you reviewing these things when people can look this up themselves? So you can look the other ones up yourself if you so desire. So anyway, um, we're going to switch cameras or move the camera and point to my um, tablet and I'll show you the next one in line. May, like I say, I may skip over some of them. So here we go. Okay, here is my Acer tablet and again I have to apologize for the flicker. I developed that couple of months ago and I <laughs> don't know where it came from but it showed up and I can't get rid of it. So anyway, um, I had originally eight scanner radio apps that I found on the, in the store. This was, I looked about in November I think. And um, there are more than eight and there are some of them that have um, multiple versions of the app, some paid and some unpaid. But these are the ones I picked out. As you can see, there are six left for me to review. This one I reviewed and I liked, uh, but it had some features that require you to pay for it, which was two dollars, no big deal. So I kept that one on my tablet. Uh, the second one I reviewed, um, I didn't like at all, so I've deleted that off my tablet, so you don't see that anymore. Um, I actually was going to review this one here, which is called, I'm trying to see this in the dark because I turned the lights off, Police Scanner, and that's this icon right here. But it would not run properly on my tablet. Now that doesn't mean that it won't run okay on your tablet or on your phone. A lot of these are made mainly for a phone. So so I can't review that one, so that one's definitely going to go off the list. The next one I tried is this one right here, which is called... Darn, I can't read in the dark. I believe it's called Police... And we'll see when we get the program. Police Signal Free. Sorry for our don't know what I'm doing. And I kind of liked that one because it had a unique feature, but it had one major distraction for me is since I'm using my tablet and I usually use it in the landscape view, that program doesn't recognize I'm in landscape and puts me in portrait, which again, a lot of these apps are slated for phones are not slated for tablets even though they'll run on a tablet. So to me that was a big distraction. But it has a unique feature I want to show you. So let's go into that program or try to run that program. Now you can see the problem. It only has portrait view. So that means I have to take my tablet and I have to rotate it. And then I have to adjust my camera back off here so you can see the screen so here's the tablet now so anyway 
This is a, another freebie. All the ones I'm showing you are freebies, and there's, uh, in many cases, there's a paid version, uh, which will have other features, um, and this usually not that expensive. So anyway, as you can see, this is called, now I can see the name, it's called Police Stream Free. Police Stream, and it's a free version. So there's a non-free version that probably takes away this, um, these advertisements on the bottom here. Okay, so we go down to the menu, and the unique feature I wanted to show you about this is, and I'm going to go right to it, uh, a big fat hand is covering it up, is map. So if I select map, okay, and what's ironic <laughs> is it goes back to landscape. So now we're, <laughs> uh, I, ho I hope the author just fix fixes that because, or maybe it's fixed in the paid version, uh, because this little feature here is kind of neat. So it knows where I'm at. Here I am right here. It knows where I'm at, and it shows graphically where the closest scanners on are. Accord, geez, I'm really messing up today. Of course, it's getting all these programs get their data and their streaming from radio reference. So it's using the radio reference database and uh, going through all the process of saying, okay, this guy is located here. I'm going to map out scanners near him. So here they are, and it looks like kind of an oblong, like a pill um, here. And that's because if I go and zoom in, which it tells me to do, and I slide up. Twitter. Move over. And then I zoom in a little more. A little more. Okay. This is showing the scanners in my area. And most of them are related to... Um, Pinellas County things. Okay, so it looks like they're mapping these because this is not the location of the actual radio that's on radio reference in a person's personal home. Um, this is probably the location that radio reference says they are, which is central Pinellas County because these are all in Pinellas County. So then, so it lists them, and so you go in and you select one, and if I follow this down, this would be this one, this would be this one, this one would be Pinellas County Fire and EMS, which is the one I usually listen to. So if I tap that button, It says that stream, it's sitting down here real small print, it says that stream is offline. Well, that's nice to know. Although that usually is online, but it could be down. So I'm going to go back up to the top one, which is uh, Pinellas County Sheriff and St. Petersburg Police. So it says buffering down here now. And it, and it highlighted in yellow. Actually, I selected the wrong one, but that's okay. It selected Pinellas County Sheriff North Pinellas, Florida Police Stream. So that is a neat feature. Uh, you know, it, not a big deal, but it, it gives you a nice graphic representation of where these scanners are. So let's zoom out and see what happens here. Let's zoom out. And see if it will show me. That was Pinellas County. Oh, sure enough. If I come over here, here here's Hillsborough County. And let me zoom out some more. 
Yep, here's Pasco County, and I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's probably Citrus County. So here's all the uh, scanners that are on radio reference that I can select. So that's kind of neat. Uh, I like that graphic interface. Okay, let's go back. And it's now streaming uh, Pinellas County Sheriff North, which it's early in the morning, so it's not very active. So let's go down to the menu screen. Okay, I say let's go back. I guess my tablet is. Uh, this is this tablet's about, I think, th about three years old. So it's got a, a single core processor, and uh, it's not the fastest in the world. Second and since it's and since it's streaming, as you can hear, it's streaming. Uh, that's kind of keeping it busy. So I can't get the menu to come up for some reason. Now, that is, uh, that is one of the, excuse me, I'm trying, I'm going to turn the light on here for a second. I'm going to turn the audio down. There. Okay, that is, no, that's not too bad, I'll leave the light on, it's like I'm not playing in the dark. That is one of the disadvantages of some of these applications. Um, is a lot uses a lot of CPU, so uh, when you're running and it's streaming, it's uh, pretty CPU intensive. So I can't seem to get the menu to come back. So let me try going backwards. Okay, I got it. I got that screen to come back up, which now puts me back in. The, and this is the one thing I don't like about this program. It switches back to the uh, portrait mode. So let me see if I can get to the menu. There, now I can get the menu from here. So I guess that's the secret is to do use the go back button on the tablet. And then when you get this screen, then you can get to the menu again. So that was the... Um, the, the way of getting um, to a scanner via the map. Now let's go to select screen, see what that shows. And it gives me the option of favorites, which I haven't selected any favorites, so there's nothing there. Drill down, and I apologize because it's on its side, or by countries. So I'm going to go by countries, which is typically what you find. Now, and I'm going to put this back over so you can see it a little better. Okay, now what, by having the light on, you see a reflection. So I'm going to turn the light back off. Okay, so now you see all these countries listed. And it does have an index. So these are countries. Actually, they're everything. So let's go to... P, well, let's get back over here. Come on, give me my... Okay. It's got an index over here, so I'm going to select P. Yeah, that didn't work. Good morning. The indoor temperature is 76.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The outdoor temperature okay. that's, is 77 degrees That's not working too good. Um... Plus, I can see another thing that's using up CPU is the streaming of these ads is using up CPU. So if you had the paid version, it didn't have that, it would probably run a little more, a little better. But I, I'm having a hard time finding what I want this method. Yeah, I'm really having a problem here is I'm selecting over here when I, you see there's uh, alphabetical index, but when I hit a letter, it doesn't seem to do anything. 
and uh, so I, I don't know how I don't know how I would find what I want using that. Now, for instance, it over here. I'm sorry for over here. It's showing that M is highlighted, and it does show here in this case uh, it shows Miami, 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 and then it shows mid north coast North Carolina. So to me, that's like useless. So. Let me go back to the menu if possible. Yep, can get back to the menu. Okay, I took me out. I went back too far, so it took me out of the program. So anyway, I I kind of like that map thing, but um, other than using the map, trying to use the index. Well, it just didn't seem to work. Now again, a lot of these programs are mainly written and checked out on a phone, Android phone, and not a tablet. So that could be some of the problems. Could be that um, a lot of times the free version is not updated as often as the paid version. That could be a problem. So I don't know. I kind of kind of doubtful about this program, even though I really like that map thing, but that could be just, you know, that's just sparkly stuff. Um, especially since I can't do a search. I didn't see a way of doing a search. Um, so, again, this was a police streaming free program apps, application. And uh, I, I may come back to this one and, and I might do some more experimenting offline and uh, check to see if there's uh, a big difference between the free version and the pay version. Um, my Android tablet always checks for updates, so I don't think there's been any update to this. And I have to, to go look at the uh, App Store to see if um, there's been something uh, modified or if there's any comments from users about problems I've seen. So anyway, that's the review today. Um, like I say, I'm going to skip this one because I couldn't get it to run. That leaves four more. Um, the two that I actually, I'll jump ahead here, the two that I presently use is this one up here called Scanner Radio. I use that one, and I like that one. I like all the features. It doesn't have the neat map thing. And the other one is uh, Police Scanner. And, of course, a lot of these things, the short name is the same as another program's short name, so it gets a little confusing. So anyway, that's for the review for the day. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the little problems I've had today trying to use this application. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.